Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Personal Mastery Training. This is our strategy session. So here's the deal. Each podcast, I bring you two versions. A strategy session where I talk about topics, tips, strategies that will help you to level up your inner game. Because really and truly, when you think about it, there is no enemy as great as the one inside your head. And when you can master that, see the other person on the other side or whatever it is you're facing, they're also worried about their personal self. They are also unconfident. They'll tell you that. When you break it down to the core, we're all vulnerable. But it's who can show up that day invincible. And each and every time you show up, can you be invincible? So that's what this is all about. This is that personal mastery training, not outside, personal, you. Master you, you master your world, business, sports, life. Secondly, I do a second episode, a masterclass, where I speak to influencers, thought leaders, authors, who I feel, no one's perfect, but I feel these people are in the arena working towards their idea of perfect. And that's where I want to pick their brain because success leaves clues and share it with you. And I invite you to also do the same. You may, you'll find ideas that I didn't see or didn't see and didn't get from that first exposure. So this is all about being philosophers, modern day philosophers, questioning, inquiry, being curious. All right. So here's the thing I know in the heat of any battle, you won't fall. You won't fall down. You will fall. You won't rise to the occasion. You'll fall to your level of preparation. So let's do our preparation and let's do this. Okay. So today, here's what I want to talk about in this strategy episode. I call it, I'm calling it the difference maker. Here we go. Let's talk about it. Not long ago, very recently, last week, I was speaking to a young group of baseball players on the topic of desire and what it took to level up the game. I was explaining to them that the window, because I watch my sons both and myself, I'm in there too, but I watch my sons and my daughter work towards their game, leveling up. And they had a deep desire, you know, like everyone does. We see it on TV. We have role models we admire, and we want to get there. And I remember them telling us when we started baseball, for instance, hey, guys, listen, just have fun with this. Only a small percentage of you, less than one, will make it to that top level. And I thought, oh, man, you know, confidence in my son. He's going to do this. We can do this. This is easy. Easy stuff. But as the road went on, I started to see it play out. I started to see there's levels to the game. And when you can see that now, when you look at sports, there's some people you never see. You see them on the bench. There's five, let's take baseball, uh, basketball. There's five players on the floor, starters. And then there's bench players. And then below that, there's another level. Then there's G League. And then one's below that. You see, my nephew also scratched the surface of turning pro, getting to the NBA. He got he, he got up to the level of Canadian professional basketball, NBL. However, there's levels. There's so many things that has to come into play for you to make it to that next level. So here's where our conversation went as we were talking to the kids. The conversation touched on a topic that when you reach that top tier, that top level, let's take my nephew in basketball. He scratched, he was knocking on the door. He was physically gifted. He had everything together that he needed. He could jump real high. He was very athletic, very motivated. Right? And when you think about it, in order to even get to that next level, to that level where you're knocking on the door, getting to any top tier level, don't you agree that you all, we all have certain skills that helps us to get there? Not much separate us physically when we get to that level because you have to pass through tests and you have to pass through requ uh, requirements you need to get to that level. So Basically, on a physical level, we're all pretty much the same. 
very close. Some may be more gifted genetically and all, you know, endurance, physical gifts. Really and truly, when it comes to the general population, a lot of people are very close. So what's the difference? What's the difference? What's that difference maker that allows one to become a starter? And even out of those five starters on the floor, there's one who is a franchise player who will stand out. What is that difference maker? So when you think about it, you know where I'm going with this when I'm talking about personal mastery. What we surmise is that difference maker is simply between our ears. How and what are you doing to fine tune the three pound mass? As I'm always saying in all my beginnings of my podcasts, you'll hear me say, we want to control the three pound mass between our ears. I'm also saying that we did not get the user's manual. And our parents prior to that, our generations prior to that, didn't also not get most, a large percent, did not get the user's manual. Some were starting to figure it out. Some woke up and were starting to figure out the game, the mental game, the game of life, and they handed it down to some. And they had a little bit of head start. So some were in the arena, but we did not. The mass did not get the instruction manual. And worst of all, some didn't even know the game existed. And they were handing down a completely different manual to some people. And it became a generational issue where we're doing the same thing they did. Never questioning, because why would you question? But when you were first put on this planet, they gave you the instructions. Why are you going to question it? What do you have to compare it to? And some people keep that for their entire life, that manual that doesn't work, but it's what they were given. So they never challenge it. All right? And we have to conform to societal norms. And today it's even more complex. We're trying to figure out all the pronouns and where we belong and gender. And oh my goodness, the user, the owner's manual. We're trying to figure it out along the way. And on wrap, uh, def- break down what's been given to us so it can make sense to us now. You can easily see why we are where we are. Just straight up. It, it's, it's a com- life is complex. It's easy on one level. It was made easy, but we complicate the hell out of it because we're humans. You can put someone in a very easy system, but the human gets in there with all our limited beliefs, everything we come to the table with, and we complicate. So this is why it becomes a duty and obligation to go to work on ourselves, fine-tuning, optimizing the brilliant brain that we're gifted with. It's, it's a potential. Potential. It's what we do with it. This is the reason why we get to the top of this proverbial food chain. And we're so lucky because we do have this brain and we have options. Other species are wired to do a certain thing. You know, I put my dog, he's never swam before. We put him near the pool, just near the water, and he starts to, you see his arms paddling, built in, predetermined. But we have this beauty to change our path if we want to. But we have to train our brain. We, we have to go to work. This is why it's so surprising to me when people talk about personal development and they say it's woo-woo and it's, you know, it's all this new age, new age, taking care of your brain, deconditioning yourself from what's been given to you that's not working. That is weird and woo-woo. Well, I'll stay over here because there's a rules to this game and I'm, till the day I die, I'm going to be working to figure me out so I can figure out my world. So what do we do with all this information? Here's what I'm going to ask you. What are your rituals? What are you doing every day to prime your brain? Are you the type who wake up and count on the external news to tell you how to feel, how to think, what the world is? Where they take the one ten percent and they glamorize it, they repeat it over, regurgitate it over and over again and tell you that's the real world? 
or are you going to pay attention to how you're functioning in the world, the set of your sale? I love that Jim Rohn quote, if you haven't heard it, the set of your sale, it's how you get up every day and where direction do you want to go into, which is the next thing I'm going to ask you. What is What are your goals? What are your goals? Set your sail in that direction. And no matter where the wind, where you get up and tomorrow there's a pandemic, there's politics, there's wherever it tosses you, don't go with it. Set your sail in the direction. So what are your rituals to get to greatness? Do you have any? Do you have one? Do you have something you do? I know if you're not seeing the success you want, you do have a ritual. And that's what's getting you where you are. And if you have one that's getting you where you want to go, can you refine it? Can you dream bigger? Can you set a goal for your moonshot? Those moonshots are the ones where if you miss, you end up with the stars and the life is still pretty great. And you want something to get you up every morning, something that's hairy and audacious to change the world. My goal is to affect as many people as I can in this world to help them to figure out that they must level up their game and reach personal mastery. So what gets you excited? What's your vision? And what's your ritual to get to that vision? You see, make it some somewhat out of your reach, because Les Brown, he says, the problem with us humans is that we don't set a goal too high and miss. We set it low too too low and hit. So set it big, hairy, audacious. And if you don't have a ritual now, if you don't even know how to start one, remember, success leaves clues. If there's somebody that you admire, why don't we hack into their results they're getting? and backwards engineer and see what they're doing, study them. If you like the results you're getting, study them and see if we can emulate, see if we can hack into it, fake it till you make it, till one day it becomes your ritual, your routine, and you're getting the results. And if you, and by the way, if you're not getting, if you do that routine and you're not getting the results, tweak it. Remember we're humans, we have that advantage to change path until we get there. Keep experimenting. And then I want you to, once you create the ritual, once you see the vision, once you create a goal, get into your visualization exercises. See yourself. See it being done. See it from behind your eyes. See it as if it's real. Get emotional about it. See all of these things you do. Is it a guarantee that you're going to live a long life, be happy? Nothing is a guarantee because we're co-creating our life. But here's what I know. The part that I'm co-creating, the part I'm in control of, I'm going to do what I can to put the odds in my favor, as my mentor, Dr. Tom Hill, would say all the time to me. Put the odds in your favor. And that's what I'm doing. So, all right. So the difference maker, the difference maker. Remember, at the top level that you want to climb, everyone's gifted. Everyone's, everyone has the same physical gifts. But what goes between the ears is what separates the good from great, the goats. Check it out. Muhammad Ali, go down the list. Right? Go down the list. I am the greatest. They claimed it before they were. So, uh, my friends, let's do the work. Do the work to level up. Do the work to create your owner's manual for the brain. We didn't get one. Let's go out and create one and then hand that down generationally. Create strong predecessors of yours. Okay, you know why I do this? I am so relentless about me leveling up my game, me being relentless about my pursuit for mastery, and I want the same for you. If you know someone who's interested in joining this movement, this community of people who want to get up every day and win back their life, share this like yourself like it yourself subscribe share let's do this together if i can help you let's connect with me link tree in my bio let's uh get on something and see if i can help you out all right until next time let's go for it be get to that next level where you are implementing the difference maker between you and your competition life sports business all right peace and love